Rightio, now this is the gear we'll need to do our dry decal application. First of all, some detergent based cleaner and some methylated spirits, both in a spray can. And then we uh, need some paper towel, or you can use a clean rag if you've got something like that, and a squeegee which uh, needs to be quite rigid. You can buy them from Science Plus. And last but not least is some uh, good quality masking tape. Right, now when you've got all your gear together, the first thing we do is to clean the surface with the detergent based cleaner. which thoroughly clean off any grease or grime that might be there. Um, if it's powder coated surface it'll need uh, extra clean and now we just finish off with the uh, second cleaning using the methylated spirits. This has the added benefit of not only removing uh, any grime but drying the surface out. Now we make sure that we line our de decal up as accurate as possible and just uh, take our measurements and make sure that we've got it centered and straight and square and exactly where we want it. It's most important this first uh, stage. Now we uh, are going to do two hinge methods here. One is a top hinge where we put the masking tape along the top and the other one will be a centre hinge. Make sure that the centre hinge is very secure by just adding two little bits of masking tape top and bottom. Now we'll cut the decal up into manageable sections. In this case we'll cut it into three sections. Two that will be hinged from the top and the other one will be a centre hinge. Now first of all the uh, top hinge, we just make sure that hinge is stuck down really well and we remove our release liner and start squeegeeing from the top down. You hold the decal off the surface and don't let it touch, it's when the pressure of the squeegee is applied that the actual decal is uh, stuck to the surface. So you just make sure that the decal doesn't touch the surface until the squeegee actually presses it down against its surface firmly. So we do those two top hinges and now we come to the centre hinge. We uh, fold back the decal and we cut through the release liner, uh, not too close to the centre of the decal but just a manageable distance away. And again our same squeegee method except this time it's from the side and it's actual pressure of the squeegee on the decal which is making it stick down. Now we remove all our masking tape and fold the decal back and remove the release liner and again just squeegee down as before. And once that's uh, nicely squeegeed down we will then remove the application paper. It's a good idea just to give it a second go over with the squeegee before we remove the application paper. Just make sure everything's stuck down well. Uh, initial adhesion's only 40%, so you've just got to be a bit careful there not to remove the decal. Now, when we remove the application paper, we make sure we remove it at an acute angle so that we don't pull the decal off the surface. Just pull down at a nice steep angle and remove all the application paper. Now we'll get out and using the line up marks that were on the first application, we line up the second colour using the little slits that we've uh, pre cut into the decal. And this will be again, it'll be a top hinge where we hinge the decal from the top, uh, remove our release liner and again start squeezing from the top. As you can see here there's only a small amount of the vinyl decal on the application paper but we do treat it as if that the whole surface is a decal and that way you don't get any uh, bubbles and creases. So you don't just apply pressure to the sticker section of it but to the whole surface of the application paper and just again remove the application paper at an acute angle and now we'll just uh, prepare it and 
give it a good idea to give it a quick clean because sometimes the uh, vinyl has a contaminate on it which makes the second colour not stick as well as it should so it's a good idea just to run over it with a, a bit of methylated spirits and that will remove any contaminates that might be there. Now we line up our next colour using the line up guides again we've uh, pre-cut some small holes in just taking a sector out of those lineup guides so you can easily see the lineup guide that's uh, been put on with the first layer of vinyl. Line that up as variously there within half a millimetre or even better. You can get extremely good accuracy by using this method. Now we'll do a bottom hinge method on this and we'll cut the decal up into manageable sections. Uh, by doing this in sections rather than one big decal it makes the job a lot easier and uh, again you know it's very easy for one person to do it uh, and it's quite quick and it's um, a very again a very accurate way of doing it just keep tension on that hinge and squeeze it all down well again just run the squeegee over again just make sure it's all stuck down really well there and we will remove our application paper as before just at an acute angle there just remove all that application paper and we can remove any of those little lineup marks it's a good idea just to re remove them when you don't need them again remove them as quickly as possible because they come off a bit easier then if there's any uh, glue left behind just clean it off with a citra base cleaner now on this centre bit here, uh, we're just going over it with a heat gun and a felt squeegee. If you haven't got a felt squeegee, you can just wrap a, a piece of cloth around the existing squeegee so you don't scratch the surface of the vinyl. And this is just to make sure it's stuck really well where the two layers of vinyl overlap. Now we'll just remove our last pieces of application paper and masking tape. And the job's just very close to being finished now and just to make a finishing touch we'll, we'll just give it a, a, a quick clean with a little bit of methylated spirits be very gently edges of the vinyl and all this is do is just get the finger mint, fingerprints or any little marks you might have left on there and it just makes the job look nice and presentable now it takes a, a while to get full adhesion so it's best not to wash it for a week and just treat it with care